Hello everyone, this is Palladium PD and welcome back to the Advanced Bees tutorial. Today I want to have a look at some aspects of the a couple of the bees added by Thormic Bees. Particularly, I want to look at three species. I want to examine Okay, the VB, that's kind of good because um, it gives you the maximum uh, chances to get the memory comb. So if you want memory combs, the VB is your B. Then we have the pure B. As you can see in effects, which is here, it has purify aura, which means that whatever node it's near, like this node, it's going to suck up any kind of flux which is polluting this aura and in this case it's going to turn it into these crystal crystallized aspects and put them into this chest. So I want to show you a really good application of that. Now the other bee that does the opposite is called the, the flux bee. This guy increases the flux in the aura. Now in the middle here I'm going to have a flux princess going as you can see my aura right now is pure there's absolutely nothing polluting it so we're going to pollute the aura with random aspects and then these bees are going to suck up the random aspects and put them into this chest and then we'll see what washes up right so we'll see which random aspects are actually created by this process and that is the point of this whole exercise to get these crystallized aspects so I'm going to run these guys let's get them in here and then I will be back. All right, little progress report. Things are going well. The flux level is dangerous. <laughs> and I've just got the nausea effect. This queen is only just getting started, so she's going to produce a lot of aura flux. Let's have a look here at the aspects. We're getting a lot of different aspects. That is very good. Um, yeah, I'm going to run this, continue running this, and then I'll show you what the result is at the end when we reduce the flux back to, I don't know, just high or normal. I will see. Anyways, see you guys in a bit. Okay, it has been quite a few hours now. The pure bees are all finished. I closed them off. This is the apiary that the flux bee was in. And we got a bunch of these crystallized aspects. So have a look at this. If I just type in aspect, I think you will see that we have pretty much every single type of aspect except for this one, which is the air aspect. But that doesn't matter because this is not used in any recipes or any research as far as I know. It may be in the next version, but I don't know. At the moment it definitely isn't, which means that you don't really need it and you get all the others. So this is a great way to get all the different aspects you need to do any kind of construction with Thorncraft, any kind of um, research. Okay, so now I want to move on to this next species, which is The rejuvenating bee. Obviously the node bee attracts the node, so I'm not going to go into that. The rejuvenating bee. As you can see here, the effect is not named, but it has an effect, and it's a very, very big effect. Let me show you what it does. I'm going to put that in there. Watch the aura. yet but don't worry it will be while I'm waiting for that to do something um, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this because this B produces so much aura which it will in a second if it is going to that we can run these magic energy absorbers with it we can run a lot of them right here I've got 48 
And as you can see, I've run this system for a while already, because this is the third time that I'm attempting to do this recording. Um, is it working properly now? Yes, okay, we've got a uh, bit of aura building up. There you go, look at that. Um, so that's why you might see some inconsistency, like the stuff over there. That's coming in the next episode. So we can see that the node, even though it was drained to zero, uh, did not get deleted. It just, it, it just was at a size zero, and now it's increasing again in size. No problem at all. Um, so w one thing though that you might want not you might want to keep in mind is you don't really want this to continue indefinitely. Like this queen, if you just cycle her around and around, will increase the size of this node so much that it will join up with other nearby nodes, which I know there are some around here somewhere. There's one over there. So we can see that this node is also increasing in size now, and eventually they will reach such a large size that the distance between them squared will be equal to the size of the node. And then they will join up, so this node is going to move over there, or possibly over there, depending on which one it combines with. That's also another thing to keep in mind. With this Flux Queen, that Flux Queen, I only had this running once, and the Pure Bees were running for ages, many, many lifetimes. Uh, in fact, we can tell how many, because it says how many generations they've been in captivity. Let's see. Eleven. So, ran that eleven times, so it was uh, at most eleven times, but... Um, certainly somewhere between 5 and 11 lifetimes to clear all the flux and make all of these little crystal aspects. So you'd... and I've got 24 here. So it's 24 times, you know, somewhere between 5 and 11 times as powerful in terms of polluting the aura as the pure bees are in, um, in cl cleaning it up. So that's something to keep in mind. If you don't want your aura to be just polluted forever, don't just run this thing for a whole day because it'll take many many weeks for you to clear your flux. And as we all know flux is ne not necessarily a good thing. Now this as you may notice this also creates flux. When we increase the aura here this is creating flux um, but the flux that is created here is not all of the different random aspects it's just a subset of them. So if you want if you're just interested in the aspects uh, the best way to do it is with the flux bee, and if you are just interested in making power from the aura, uh, or just making aura so that you can do your thorn crafting, then um, clear the flux another way. So either use a pure node, or you can put pure bees around here and just void the aspects. Or if you want to keep them, of course you can keep them, but um, they're not going to be as diverse as these. So that is kind of all I wanted to talk about for this episode. Um, I was going to append that other stuff to the end of this episode, but I realized that it would really be too long. So I'm going to talk about those in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.